Greetings from Panuka Farm. Uh, this is uh, yours truly, Mr. Panuka, uh, the CEO and founder of uh, Panuka Farm. Uh, if today is your first time, uh, you know, stumbling across, uh, you know, Panuka Farm uh, YouTube channel, uh, we are based here uh, in, in Zambia, uh, specifically in the outskirts of the uh, capital of Zambia, Lusaka. Um, we're actually situated in a rural, you know, setup, uh, Kapopo village, as it were. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. So today we're coming from, um, you know, two greenhouses, the oldest um, uh, to house sweet pepper. Um, and uh, this is what we've, uh, you know, traditionally called the sweet pepper, you know, forests, uh, greenhouse number two and three. Um, where we are here, um, the crop is quite old, uh, transplanted uh, on the 12th of uh, uh, June 2020. Um, and this is March, you know, 2021. So quite old. Um, um, this crop deserves some salutation, some uh, standing ovation. Um, it's done quite well. Um, but I think the production has actually dwindled, um, understandably so. Um, and um, I think the cost of keeping this uh, crop, um, you know, going is a bit higher than you know what we're able to get out of it so common sense dictates that uh, i think we need to bid fair to this lovely uh you know crop uh so we will actually be uh, terminating um this crop um but when we get to greenhouse number three uh which you know is is, is quite as old as this uh we want to do some uh experiment um so Let's just get there so that uh, you get to hear uh, and, and appreciate um, what we're thinking. You know, at Panuka Farm, we love to do uh, some experiments through action research because that's the only way we really uh, get to understand um, the nitty gritties and the nuances uh, of, of crop production in relation to, um, you know, some of the theories we read in the books. So tag along, let's get there and then uh, see what we're trying to do here at uh, Panuka Farm uh, in the other greenhouse. So this is Panuka greenhouse number three. Um, with this crop, uh, we transplanted on um, uh, 10th of July, uh, 2020. Uh, so just um, about a month, you know, uh, difference with the GH2 that we just, uh, uh, you know, visited. So let's get into um, this uh, greenhouse. What you actually see is that this is a much more uh, better crop, uh, more productive uh, compared to the other one. Uh, we still have quite some very decent big fruits uh, from here. And one thing that you actually see is that it actually has behaved like, uh, you know, English cucumber. Uh, it's a proper, you know, forest. Uh, it's resting on the, uh, the net and uh, you see a lot more production uh, at the roof of the greenhouse. Okay. So what you actually see is that uh, this one is actually a much more, uh, you know, productive uh, crop like we indicated. And uh, look at, uh, you know, its production up there, uh, still doing quite well. But what we want to do is to do an experiment like we indicated earlier called uh, pepper topping. Um, and what that means is that um, underneath here, um, you actually cut, you know, the pepper, you know, somewhere here. Um, and then you restart, you know, the, uh, fertigation. Um, the rationale is that, um, you know, the root, you know, formation is already quite well grounded. Um, and so you actually get a much better crop, um, you know, in, in the second, uh, you know, cycle, at least those are some of the theories that we've, uh, you know, gotten, uh, from some of the practitioners. And, uh, so we want to try that, um, but again, we've gotten, you know, different views. Um, other agronomists say, well, it's not worth it um, because the crop will be in more prone to diseases, um, you know, and, and generally the productivity will be, uh, you know, less compared to the original, uh, you know, crop. But I think in our four years of, of farming, one thing that we've seen is that, uh, that we've had instances where we get the theories, uh, you know, uh, find them 40, uh, if, as it were. Um, there's nothing that beats, you know, action research um, for you to find out, you know, for yourself. And so this is what we want to do here at, uh, you know, Panuka Farm here in the 
sweet pepper forest um, to try and do the uh, topping and see for ourselves whether we'll actually get a much better crop in terms of uh, fruit size um, and also longevity and actually also in terms of uh, you know disease you know incidences so that's something that we are willing to to, to do it's an experiment and um, you know it turns out quite well um, given that you get much more grounded you know information um, you know thereafter whether you should not do it you know in future uh, or it's something that will actually be quite beneficial um, you see in the long run it will actually reduce you know your cost of seed um, that is if it turns out um, uh, well so those are some of the pros and cons uh, of some of these uh, you know experiments so you see uh, this crop is still doing quite well, but uh, generally the productivity has come down. Um, and um, the proponents of uh, topping indicate that uh, if you have to do topping, you've got to do it on a better crop, which is still more productive. And so between the two greenhouses, the one that we just uh, looked at and this one, we feel this one is um, a much better crop to uh, do topping. Um, you can actually see that uh, even the plant population is uh, uh, more in here. Looking very good. So we will try and uh, cut it right here and, and see how uh, this will turn out. So that's, that's the experiment that we want to do here. Um, and so if you have uh, more insights on how to do this the right way, um, I think we'd be glad to get, you know, that, that feedback. Um, you know, should we cut it, you know, here or should it be done uh, much higher? And, and, and what are some of the precautions uh, in, in, in doing this experiment? Um, so we'd be glad to actually get, uh, you know, that, that feedback. Uh, if, if you are baptized, you know, horticulture farmer who's done, you know, a paper topping to try and elongate uh, its productivity. Um, you know, we love to continue to learn. Uh, that's the nature of farming. Uh, you can never farm in isolation. Otherwise, um, you isolate yourself from, uh, you know, um, knowledge. Okay. So, yeah, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you on, you know, some of the tidbits on um, uh, topping. Uh, so what we're actually going to do this week is to, you know, harvest all the fruits, um, you know, and, and in preparation for uh, topping uh, sometime next week. And uh, we'll certainly keep you updated uh, once we do it, and of course, you know, the, the journey uh, going forward on how it to, um, you know, come up. Yeah, so um, the principle is that I think once you cut it, you've got to restart, you know, the fertigation program. Uh, so obviously, um, the root formation is, is quite intact, but I think you need to supplement with the likes of MAP um, and, and all the other, you know, root enhancing, um, you know, nutrients. And of course, immediate after that, you need to beef up, you know, the vegetation. Um, and that's where issues of, you know, nitrogen and phosphorus, uh, you know, come in quite handy. Um, and uh, as soon as you still, you, you, you see some, you know, uh, semblance of, um, you know, fruiting, uh, obviously the likes of potassium then, you know, kick in and other, you know, micronutrients. So we would try and just follow through uh, understanding the plant and um, what it needs at, at different stages uh, so that um, we, we get it right on this um, uh, experiment. So wish us well and... Um, Please uh, keep guiding us uh, in case you have more insights on how uh, to get this thing uh, right. So, from Mr. Panuka, have a lovely one and um, ciao.